Welcome to the Market Matters Weekly Update with Sean Hickman. Sean, uh, we're into the, the last week before Christmas. Um, there's a, a lot of uh, press around there about the Christmas rally. Uh, what are your thoughts on uh, on the next four trading days into, into Christmas? Oh, I think it's easy. What Christmas rally? I don't think we're going to have one. You know, the market's down 350 points already over the last four or five weeks. We are totally being dictated to by the Australian dollar. Too many people are looking for a Christmas rally. The stats say that we normally get a Christmas rally, but I think this year, unfortunately, the trend is down. The path of least resistance is down. The surprises are all negative. So sure, we might have one or two days where the market pops up, but I don't think we're going to have a Christmas rally. Um, and, and we're in a week here where there's a lot of dividend uh, checks coming out to investors. You, you don't think that money's going to end up in the market? No, I think there's more chance of it ending up in David Jones or Meyer and people have a nicer Christmas. You know, I just don't, it's not happening. People are not buying stocks. They're not reinvesting that money. When I hear people talking to uh, investors, they're more inclined to say, no, I'll wait, I'll wait. They're just nervous. They're hearing too much bad news. Okay. Well, talking bad news, we've got the, uh, the US Federal Reserve meeting this evening. Um, obviously, the global markets are all uh, talking tapering. What are your thoughts here and, and what impacts can it have on particularly the Australian market? I think in the, <clears throat> the bigger picture or medium term picture, it's old news. You know, this has been on the table now for a long time. The market looks six or 12 months of up ahead. We're going to get tapering. Whether it's in December, January, February or March, it doesn't matter. We're going to get it. But what matters is in the US, they're getting far better company reports. They're getting far better economical data. The problem is we're getting the opposite here. We're getting bad economical data. The Australian dollars on the skids. So overall, I think it's just a storm in a teacup. It's going to happen. Liquidity would come back a bit, but conversely, the companies are doing better. Okay. And uh, you just mentioned the Australian dollar. Um, have, you, have you got any thoughts here on, uh, on where it goes to in the, in the short and medium term? Um, sure. I think it goes down to mid-80s. The RBA wants it in the mid-80s. They actually probably want it lower. They're getting what they want. I think the thing is that also will mean that we don't get the rate cuts that everyone's hoping for because they're not making any difference. Another rate cut, it's not going to change anything. We need to improve our efficiency. We need to improve the trade balance. And these are things that are going to take time. They're not going to happen overnight. So the weak Australian dollar is short term, very, very bad for our market. Last time the Australian dollar dropped 14 cents. Our market dropped 13% and most of the banks dropped 20% in mid-May or June. We're seeing a similar sort of performance now.